Hello, everybody. Um, uh, as you can, I can't talk. I'm not prepared at all. This is sad. Um, but as you can see, this is a book review of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And if you watched my May wrap of June to be read, I told you I'd have this done. But I wasn't expecting to have this done this soon. Um, what happened was, last night I had this and the other three books that I'm reading all in my bed, and I was going to read two chapters out of this, a chapter out of Harry Potter, uh, like 10 or 20 pages of Perks, and then two chapters of A Walk to Remember. And I was on chapter 10 in this, and then when I finally got to chapter 12, I just couldn't stop. And I probably started reading around like 9.30 or 10, and I stayed up and didn't finish this until I think it was like 3.30 or 4 in the morning. <laughs> and I cried. Oh my god, guys, I cried so hard. I think I cried around, let me see, what chapter? I think it was like 14 or 15. I started like crying nonstop. It was ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. Um, real quick before I even start my review, first I want to show you some stuff. I think you all know that already, but if you didn't, I have a green sign John Green signature and the other cool thing that I didn't even realize when I got it, it wasn't until I started flipping through the book that I found this hold on where is it there it is that is it so no one keep it where it is in the book stay open book I found this in my book and if you can't read that it says if you like this book then you're in hold on if you like this book then you're you might be a nerd fighter it's a good thing go to youtube.com slash vlogbrothers and dftba i freaked out you guys look at that that's awesome i freaked out because well at first i was very confused because it's like on the back of a receipt and i was like why did someone have the receipt in here and then i looked in the back and i saw the little message and i got so excited so yeah that was awesome so that made me ecstatic but anyway on with the review um this book was so good, you guys. I laughed. I cried. I got giddy. And oh my god. Okay, um, so I'm not really good at describing, so I'm just going to read the little book that, like I usually do with these. It says, despite the tumor-shrinking medical miracle that has brought her a few years, Hazel has never been anything but terminal. Her final chapter inscribed upon diagnosis. But when a gorgeous plot twist named Augustus Waters suddenly appears at a cancer kid support group, Hazel's story is about to be completely rewritten. Now, um, this take this book um, is told in the perspective of Hazel Grace Lancaster, who it has cancer, and at support group, she meets Augustus Waters, who um, also has cancer. And the book is basically about their story and their journey together, and how um, Hazel really loves this book called *An Imperial Affliction* by um, I'm not even gonna try to say the character's name because I know I'll butcher the last name. So yeah, but and there's this wish, and what happens is um, every cancer kid gets a wish, and Hazel already used hers to go to Disney World, I think, if I remember correctly. And Augustus hasn't used his, so. He uses his wish to um, take himself, Hazel, and her mom to Amsterdam so that they can meet the author of An Imperial Affliction. And that's basically, you know, the whole storyline of the book and everything. Um, the characters in this book are so good. Like, even the minor characters I enjoyed. Um, Hazel, um, even though, you know, I am healthy and I don't have cancer, there were, there were times in this book where I could relate to what Hazel was experiencing emotionally and stuff like that with, you know, her feelings towards Augustus and all this. And, um, I just, and the way Hazel views the world and her own illness fascinated me to no end and made me stop and think about my life and it, the book really does make you think about a lot of things and Augustus oh god Augustus like seriously reading this I'm gonna not hold this because that's gonna irritate me but reading this I just kept thinking I wish you were real like you I, I swear if you're a girl and you read this you, I'd be shocked if you didn't after reading this think 
and wish there was a guy out there like Augustus Waters because he's fantastic. And then um, they have a common friend named Isaac. Um, he's on Augustus. And I loved reading about Isaac, like reading his interactions with Hazel and Augustus. It was so entertaining. He's so entertaining. And also reading um, about Hazel's parents and Augustus' parents and seeing how, you know, Hazel and Augustus act with, interact with their families and with each other's families it was really fun to read. And then, um, okay, I'm, gonna tr I'm not going to say his last name, but the author of Imperial Affliction, Peter, um, I, he, oh, when they meet him, I got so angry at him. Like, a part of me already expected it. I, because I've seen some people say they didn't expect him to be kind of a douchey character. But I did, mainly because of how, well, for, for me, I figured he probably was going to be a douche because of how he responded to Hazel and Augustus's emails, letters, whatever. So it wasn't all that shocking, but I was still like, really? Oh my god, you're an a-hole, go away. But it's understandable why he is, but still. Um, so yeah, I, I don't want to be too spoilery. I'm, maybe with my little kind of rundown, I guess you could say, I kind of give a few things away, but nothing really that big, I don't think. Um, but yeah, if you have not read this read it. Oh my god, you will not be disappointed. And if you are, no offense, but there's something wrong with you. This, it's such a good book, and everyone should go and get it. Yeah, so, Fall in Our Stars, oh, I didn't give it a rating. <laughs> Fall in Our Stars gets 5 out of 5 stars for me. I found there was nothing I did not like in this book. It was fantastic, and yeah. This was not a short review like I was hoping, but yeah. So, there it is. I did a written review, and I'll put a link in the thing magic so you can, if you want to read that, you can. So yeah, there we go. There, and I'm just rambling now. So yeah, follow my stars, John Green, five out of five. And my next video should be um, my reaction to the MTV Movie Awards, which will be starting in an hour. So yeah. So tell me your opinions of the Fault in Our Stars. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What's up? So yeah, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.